Hello and welcome to this tutorial series in programming robots using ROS. As the name suggests, you will learn to program robots in this series of tutorials and you will head into the world of robotics. While doing these tutorials, you do not need to have any robot at home as we will be working in a simulated environment, so you will only be using your own computer. And there exist a lot of resources about ROS on the internet today, but when I started learning ROS, I found it was quite hard to get started with it and learn it. So what I would like to do in these videos is that I want to create a good tutorial series on how to get started with ROS as I think it's missing right now. Today, the 22nd of November 2020, you can find a lot of robots in your surroundings. One easy example is a robot vacuum cleaner, which is, has become very popular in the recent years in many homes. And earlier this year, Amazon presented their home security drone, which flies around your home automatically, which is really impressive as flying robots is pretty advanced. And as you probably know, there is a huge research on self-driven cars today, which is not so far away, and we do even have robots on March. So the field of robotics is really growing right now, and I think it is an industry which will and also has a lot of job offers both now and in the future. So I think learning robotics is a real investment right now. So ROS actually stands for Robot Operating System and is an open source framework for robotics. It was released in 2007, so it has been around for almost 14 years now and therefore has a good community and there is a, exists a lot of resources out on the internet today. And as far as I know, it's quite popular in research and there even exists some really commercial robots out there running ROS, which is awesome. So the ROS framework contains tools, libraries and conventions to make the development of robots for you and me as developers easier. It also exists a lot of libraries which you can download and use in your own projects. So say for example that you want to focus on computer vision and you do not want to focus so much on the movement of the robot. Then you can download a library from the mo for movement from the internet and you can start using it while you can focus on developing your computer vision. And there exists a lot of libraries for other things too, so if you need something and don't want to develop it yourself, I recommend you to search for it as it might already, already exist for ROS. So, as I mentioned earlier also, ROS is a framework, which means that it is not a programming language. The two most common and well-supported languages for ROS is C++ and Python. I prefer to use C++, so that's what we will be using in this tutorial, but if you prefer Python to C++, you can use that instead. And before we begin, I just want to mention something about these tutorials. So what we will be focusing in these tutorials is how to install the ROS, how to create new ROS projects, and how to master the basic concepts of ROS. So I will try to keep these tutorials quite short, so it should be easy for you to come back if you have to leave, and also if you want to take a break. I will try to keep them around 10, minute, uh, 10 minutes, so they might be longer. I, I'm not sure about this 10 minutes, but hopefully it's only 10 minutes, and maybe I break it into two parts if it's longer. And if you do have any questions, please write them in the comments, and I will try to answer them. If you face errors, though, try to search the internet before asking questions about errors because the most fixes exist on the internet and it's hard to help with those in a comment section here. But the most fixes exist on the internet. And one last thing before I end this presentation. To develop ROS, you need to have a decent computer. Not the best one, but prefer preferably one with a graphics card, as simulation can be quite resource demanding. You also need some programming experience, you don't need to be a professional, but I won't explain every line of code that I will be writing, I will more explain what we actually do with lines of code, so I will not explain what a string is and so on. And last but not least, it is good if you have some experience with the Linux terminal, as we will be using it a lot. So let's dive into the installation. So before we start installing, I just want to say that the preferred OS to install ROS on is Ubuntu Linux. 
but I can't install Ubuntu Linux on this machine, so I will use VSL2, Windows Subsystem for Linux 2. And if you want to know how to install it, I will put a link to another video that I have, so on, <clears throat> on how to install VSL2 on Windows. But for now, I will use this one. So this is a Ubuntu Linux 2004 installed on my Windows 10. So the first thing you want to do is that you want to head over to rust.org. Then you want to go to this Rust Noetic Ninjamis, which is the latest uh, version of Rust 1. So then you press download and you will come to this section where you will have to choose your platform. Here I will choose Ubuntu as it is what I'm using. So we press here. And then you come to this side here. And what you want to do here is that you just want to install or you will want to run these commands. So you can go to this site yourself and run the commands uh, if you want to. Otherwise, I will just show you how to do it. So you will just see how, how it looks. So we start with this one here. I will uh, take it to the left like this. So, so I'll just copy this first line here and paste it. And now we take step one. You don't need to do step one one. I haven't needed that one uh, when I have started or using VSL at least. If you're on Ubuntu, you might need to do it. But then we just copy the 1.3. And then we do say sudo apt update. So I will pause the, this video here if, if this takes too long. So when you have run the update, you then you have here to choose which of the ROS. There is different uh, ROS install, installment uh, commands. And what I, what I want you to choose is the sudo apt install ROS noetic desktop full. So the first line here the full version. So we copy it and we paste it in. And this install will take quite a long time. So I will pause the video here. So now when that is done, the next thing you want to do is that you want to copy this line of code here, not the one that is straight under 1.5 environment setup. You want to take this, which is under bash. And you can just copy the first line here. So you copy it and then you take the other one under it, like this. So, and uh, then you're done with the installation of ROS. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you like it. If uh, you want more, please hit the like button and the subscribe button if you want to. Otherwise, see you in the next tutorial where we will be talking or dive a little bit deeper into the world of ROS. See you then.